Hi, this is Majid from Ozenic Engineering. So today I would like to compare the speed of GPU and CPU for uh, one simulation. So uh, like uh, this is a structure that I, wa I want to compare the result. So it's a grading coupler. As you see here, we have a fiber here. We have a fiber and we have a uh, like grading structure as you see here. For to about the detail of this structure, you can go to the uh, our knowledge base article at ANSYS. So um, the thing that we need to do for uh, to prepare the simulation uh, for the GPU, first of all, I, uh, I select the resource and the resource. You see here we have a different, uh, in the FD solver, we have a GPU and uh, we have a CPU and GPU. So I, select, I will select the GPU zero. So if your computer has, more, has more than one GPU, you can add the, the GPU here, uh, the number of GPU that you wish. So then I will select the run test after. Uh, so you see that there is a, a green bottom here. That means that the status is, is OK and works for my simulation. So the, this is the number of uh, streaming multi multiprocessors. So I have 142. Uh, streaming mi microprocessor. So another thing that we need to do for the for the FDT part, I will select the FDT, then I select the edit object, and uh, uh, if I go to the advanced option, uh, you need to uh, uh, checkbox uh, express mode and about the boundary conditions. So my boundary is PMO. Uh, the mesh setting is the accuracy of mesh setting is two, and um, and also uh, this is the number of grids in X, Y, and Z. It's around 18 million uh, grid points. So uh, now I will run the simulation uh, with the uh, with the GPU. So. Uh, to look at uh, my computer GPU, so if I go to the uh, task manager and then uh, select the performance on the GPU, you can see that the, my GPU is NVIDIA RTX 6000. So uh, let's, uh, uh, because it takes some time, uh, so I will pause the video, uh, but uh, this file this simulation generate a notepad file, generate a text file, and then we can uh, go to the on that notepad file and uh, we can see the uh, see the time of simulation. If I select the the task manager and see the GPU, you can see that around ten percent of my GPU is used in simu in this simulation. The dedicated GPU memory is is a five. This is the the, the percentage of CPU that is used in, in my simulation. So my simulation is finished. I can, I can look at the, uh, the notepad of my output. So if, if I go to the uh, grading coupler, you see some information about the GPU. So here, simulation size in grid point and uh, Simulation size in uh, in the map. These are some information that this notepad can give you, like here the total simulation. So our total simulation is 448. Uh, the FDT solver um, speed for one microprocessor is 3671 million nodes per second. So we can compare these numbers with the with the GP with the CPU simulation. Okay. So now uh, we will run the simulation with the uh, CPU. So about my my CPU so I have sixteen cores. So my, the information on my CPU is Core i9, and um, oh, 
just we need some uh, configuration on the resource side so just we can select the CPU and we change this number to 16 and then click on the run test and you see that the uh, green color here it's work so for the FTD side uh, you can see we have a mesh accuracy of 2 the, the same boundary condition and just we disable the express mode here because it's for it's used for GPU now uh, we run the simulation uh, with the with the CPU so you can see on the CPU side like CPU uh, usage is 100% and uh, so here you can see that the maximum time remaining is 4 hours the other shoot off level 0.14 so I will pause the video and now we can compare the result of CPU and GPU so the left side is a GPU so uh, the total time for the GPU it takes like 448 second but for the GPU it's 2736 seconds so it's almost six time GPU is faster so about the FTTD solver speed on a process is around 3671 million nodes per second and uh, so for the FTTD is uh, so for the one process we can have, we can see that it's 22.53 million nodes per second and for 16 cores is about 360 million nodes per second so again we can see that the, uh, the GPU is uh, uh, the GPU solver is faster than CPU thanks